Hello. How are you doing? So, we're just having a time. We're having a time. It is Sunday, February 21st, but I'm actually starting this week's vlog a day early because I know that going back to school next week after having not been in school for a week, I'm looking up something on my iPad. Just by the way, I'm not just looking down for no funsies reason. I mean, this isn't fun, but it's a reason. So I know it's going to be really busy going back this week, so I just wanted to get it started early so that at least I have it, you know? The plans for this week are I'm going to still be reading A Court of Silver Flames. I did finally get my copy in the mail. That is going to be something I mentioned in this vlog, but it is definitely going to be a, uh, what's it called? separate vlog for itself because I already have a lot of thoughts and none of them I want to censor for spoilers because I mean it's all spoilers like it's specific things I want to complain or be excited about mainly complain <laughs> although I'm liking the book a lot I just really hate Reese but audiobook wise I just downloaded Angels and Demons by Mr. Dan Brown for March I'm trying to read through the series so I you know, gotta start here. I know it's not a series that you have to read in order, but I've read three of the five, but I did not read the first one and I did not read the third one. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get my life together and read them in order. And then I want to read this arc that I got, Down Comes the Night. I don't know a lot about it, but once I get into it, I will definitely update to let you guys know what I have found out regarding this book. Before we get in any further, I wanted to really quickly thank our sponsor of this video, which is Boxu. So Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers as original assortments of premium Japanese snacks right to your door every month. They also include tea pairings within this box, which I'm really excited about because I've been getting more into tea. And one of my favorite things that I think is really cool is each month is a different theme. These boxes are shipped directly from Japan and it really gives you the authentic experience of having Japanese snacks every month. So as you can see, there's a lot of snacks within this box. Uh, my partner has already looked at this and has their eye on it and wants to be a part of it. I don't know about all that, but I do really like, it's almost like it's made to share with someone because there's usually two of each of the things. Some of them there's not two, but for the most part there is, and I think that that is just really cool. I think it is a cute idea because you can share it with your friends or your partner or your family or whatever the case is. And I'm very excited to get into these. And what I really, really love is they have their culture guidebook, which not only tells you a little bit about each snack, which I like because it tells you the name and what it is. And it has a picture in case you're like me and you cannot read Japanese so that you can know exactly which one that maybe you really really like and you can buy more and support these companies which I think is really cool. They also let you know the allergens that are within this in like so you know the tree nuts or soy. For me almonds are something that if I really want to eat them I can eat them but should I eat them? Maybe not. And it also lets you know if it's vegetarian which I think is cool. So the actual theme this month is Seasons of Japan. So we have like a little section for each season and it just is really cool. Like I am definitely excited to try out this matcha chocolate stick cake. Like that just sounds really good. There's some tea in here. I'm excited to make. I'm just I'm just excited for all of it. Like I really genuinely am so excited. This is, I will always want to try different kinds of snacks and whatnot, but I never know where to start. And I feel like this box is such a good idea. So gives you like this little pamphlet to explain what exactly it is. And something that's really cool that, I mean, I know that doesn't have anything to do with the actual eating, but it has this map of Japan and it shows you exactly where each snack comes from. And I just think that that's like, that. that's just really cool. So you can get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box from Boxu and save up to $47 using my code and the link down below in the description. So definitely make sure that you check that out, see what Boxu is all about, if you want to be a part of it, if you want to try it out. I definitely do. I can say that I recommend it and throughout this vlog I will be eating some more of them. Yes, I have already started. Yes, I tried to hold off until I filmed this 
it just didn't work. <laughs> Thank you so much to Boxu for sponsoring this vlog. And without further ado, I think we should go and make a coffee and get started on some reading because that's kind of, it's kind of just what we do. And we'll get a snack too, you know? We'll do that too. It's great. Let's go. I am so not cleaning this up. Look at this. What have I done? Why did I do that? Jake, what do you think? Oh, I mean, very polite. <laughs> Are you ready to run free? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Well, let's... Oh, can you sit? Be free. Goodbye. Goodbye. My camera keeps focusing on nothingness behind me. Like when I point it here, it keeps focusing not on my face. So, um, there's a ghost. Just kidding. But I am, oh my god, why did that just start running? I am currently teaching from home. Not right now. Right now is my lunch. But I am, we're doing it at home because we don't have water at school, which I did not find out about until last night. So it's been um, an exciting time all last night getting prepared for today and then um, getting everything ready this morning. But we did it. We conquered. I am about to start doing Patreon letters for February. And then I'm also going to be doing some what's it called i really did forget oh replying to comments so i don't have a reading update which i know is kind of like bleh but i am gonna go make a matcha i just showed it here so i did not finish all of the matcha tea why did i do this like I did not finish all the matcha tea that David's Tea's calendar had, but I'm obsessed with them. Like, they are so good. And I recommend putting vanilla in it, like just some syrup or whatever. I'll put, I'll link it down below the one I got because apparently it's the one that Starbucks uses. That's what my friend who works there said. I don't know if it's every Starbucks or whatever, but even if it's not, it's really good. And it really, I like it because it's not as many, um carbs and grams of sugar because I am trying to choose like if I'm having a high caffeine drink chill it on the sugar and vice versa so we're gonna go make some more matcha I just tried the lavender honey yesterday that's what I, you just saw before this and it was really good there's a pumpkin one that I really like so I may do that and then we might get another snack out of the boxu boxu box I don't know why my brain stopped when I said box like basically twice <laughs> but yeah um after work today, I plan to build the TBR cart. I'm trying to organize our room because I I don't want to have big bulky side tables, but I do want the side tables to look organized. So what I mean is like I don't want to get ones that have drawers because I feel like with everything we have in the room, because we have to have the treadmill in there right now, it just makes it look so boxy. So I want to keep the ones that we have that have just like a basket underneath that we've bought for it. So I bought two baskets for Michael's and then a book cart and then a topper and I'll show you when I do it. But I want to have us each have like a so there's three tier and then each of us would have a tier for our books that we leave on our bedside table instead of putting on the bedside table and then have the baskets to like basically hide everything that we have on our bedside table, if that makes sense. So I'll show it when we do it because I think it's going to look nice. I just, I'm getting to that point and also it's late February so that probably is why. But I'm getting to the point where I just want to organize everything and I want everything to like 
be clean and put together and with the power being out all last week and trash being missed like our, our garage is a mess and I just want to clean obviously I can't because I'm working all week but you know when 4 p.m. hits then we're cleaning but for now because it's lunchtime I'm gonna go make a tea and probably make one of the um, when I'm teaching I just buy a bunch of frozen meals and I this week decided to buy a bunch of Amy's vegetarian ones because I wanted to try them out I used to eat them a lot when I was a vegetarian um, in like high school and early college but I am not currently a vegetarian I get that question a lot we choose our hello fresh food to specifically be as plant-based as possible but sometimes we'll do like chicken I'm not a red meat person I don't like it at all I never eat pork ever and sometimes chicken but it really depends if I can find a plant-based version of it or even like a turkey burger instead I will 100% choose that over chicken even but other than that we're not technically vegetarians, but we do just try to eat as little meat as possible. I mean, I do. My partner is kind of roped into that. Although, he has said that he definitely does like the effects of not eating it as much, so that's good. We learned that through having HelloFresh, so it's really great for that because I really don't know a lot of recipes for not meat-based because I live in Yeehaw land and that's all people eat here. But yeah, let's go make some matcha and light a couple candles. Okay, hi guys. So I have started Down Comes the Night. So far, what I know is that it is a, it's definitely a high fantasy and we have our main character, Ren. So far, what I know is there's definitely like some probably religious war because aren't they all? And she is on obviously one side and she's got magical powers. And what I think is going to happen is she just mucked something up. So I think she's going to go to that, like, elusive in the forest or the mountains duke or lord that's mentioned in the description. So I think that's where we're at. A quarter of silver flames. <laughs> I just got spoiled in my comments. Like, for a comment that didn't even, like comment on something I was talking about in the video, like it was just random because I mentioned Sarah J Mass. Um, so I'm pretty upset about that because <laughs> I've been avoiding spoilers at all costs. I made, literally I wrote down a list of bookstagrammers that I follow that I like and I don't want to unfollow them, but I muted their stories so I wouldn't see spoilers and then I was going to go back and unmute them. It doesn't even matter anymore because it was one of the spoilers I cared the most about, but I'm still going to try to avoid them, so <laughs> probably not going to answer comments for this week when tomorrow's vlog goes up which makes me sad because I like to reply and I'm behind because of the storm last week and my lack of oh my god just tapestries <laughs> but my lack of internet but now it's, it's just gonna have to wait because that wasn't even a video that had anything to do with anything and I got spoiled so the internet's not safe and March is coming up so I might have to just wait till I'm doing chain of iron too because I'm literally taking no chances <laughs> the internet is so fun but it also takes the fun, you know? But I'm doing some light rearranging again, like as in lights, and I wanna show you what I have so far. I'm covering them all in fairy lights that are on fish wire, basically, and I'm hooking them around command strips, and I just like the way it looks with all my shelves lit up, but I don't want dangly lights, so that's what we're going for. But I have to order like four more packs of command strips because it's gonna take a lot, but I wanted to show you. So. Let's see. There, this is what we have so far. I am obviously missing up here and down there. I don't think I'm gonna do the bottom row because I think if I undo these and go all the way back up, start at that top corner and then go down like this, it'll have just enough to not do that bottom row, which is fine because whatever. But if I can do the bottom row, I will. But what I don't want is for them to go across bookshelves because then it makes it really hard for <laughs> me to get them off whenever we eventually move so yeah I have those two done and then I'm just gonna do all of these 
And then look, but like, look how much brighter this room looks just with those. Like, that's just so cool. And then I have my little reading light. Makes it nice and bright. We got the ginger. Looking nice and mad that I came and woke her up. Goodbye, Jude. Goodbye, ginger. <laughs> Hello everybody, I just, I literally like not even a minute ago got off the treadmill. Um, I did, I'm feeling sad, uh, just like in my brain, not emotionally. Does that make sense to anybody? Because I feel like that explains perfectly how I feel. But also if it doesn't make sense, I feel like that also is very on point with how I feel. So, I... I'm just feeling like blah and so I only did 1.7 no what did I do no I did 0.76 so basically I did three-fourths of a mile and it was like 20 minutes on the treadmill and honestly I did a 10 minute or no like a yeah 15 or 20 minute hit workout yesterday from Chloe Ting and I'm just like basically doing little things so at least I feel good that I did some kind of exercise so, I don't know. Apparently, it might help me feel better. It hasn't worked yet. But you know what does help me feel better? Dan Brown. So, I am reading Angels and Demons. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm doing the audiobook. The audiobook is honestly the best way to read this series. I'm on page 106, which is chapter 31. And, of course, I'm really liking it. It's very much... Dan Brown and now we're going to the Vatican City which I just find interesting the Illuminati is involved it's just great I know who is it Tom Hanks plays him in the movies and I just want to say I picture Brandon Fraser specifically the mummy Brandon Fraser hello um that is my Robert Langdon because uh Mr. Dan Brown spends a a lot of time increasingly throughout the books I'll say because I've read the most recent one as well um talking about how attractive Robert Langdon is which is this basically just a Dan Brown fan fiction the more I look into Dan Brown as a person I think so I don't think I'd be wrong because <laughs> he's an English teacher at a university although you know Robert Langdon is a, a symbology teacher but still I see you, Dan. So that's what I'm reading there. I'm also reading a little bit more of, what is it called? The Sorcerer's Trial, the Elise Kova arc. I'm liking that as well. And then I'm also doing the Bromance Book Club, which is the Patreon read for this month. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish both of those by probably tomorrow night. So hopefully I'll have something to update you guys with, but I do have something now. Let me see if I can show you the packing tape. It's this giant fairy loot box. And um, I bought this myself, so yeah. Should I have? No. Did I? Mm-hmm, and I'm happy about it. So here's the print that came with it. I didn't realize there was gonna be a print, but it's beautiful, so I'm happy about it. But um, let's talk about the books, cause they're very beautiful too. So here is the first one. And then you got the sprayed decal or not stenciled edges and then top and bottom as well and then they all have the end papers signed which is my favorite way to have signed books but I'm just excited to have this series all complete all in this new I love these fantasy covers I think they look so good and I love that they all have different colors for the spines like I just I think I'm just, I really love them. And I have a video going up tomorrow that is the prettiest books that I own or special editions that I own. And this set hadn't come in in time. So I already have it filmed, obviously. I'm not gonna refilm it. I can't, cause there's something in there that's like timely. But yeah, I also got another book that I'm super excited for. And that is The Maidens. This is the author that also wrote The Silent Patient, which I really, really liked The Silent Patient up until like the last half it just kind of fell apart for me. But the concept was so good. This is so, like, it was, it was good. I like the way it was executed. Um, there were just some things that weren't my favorite. But this is like kind of a dark academia murder mystery vibe and so it's uh basically a story that combines psychological suspense greek mythology murder and obsession like that just sounds amazing and i will be hosting a giveaway for this on my instagram at some point so look out for that if you are interested in it but i am definitely going to be reading this one soon if my march tbr goes well i may put this on there just like last minute it comes out in june 
but the giveaway will be for an arc of it but i'm i'm excited to pick this one up very soon and then i got some planner mail that i thought i would share with you guys i did film a giant planner haul that i'm gonna put up soon i feel like that's only like a couple of people want to see that but it's like all the stickers, washi tape, journaling stuff that I use in my journals and my planner. And I get a lot of questions about shops I recommend, so I thought doing a haul video of that would be good because then it would put all the shops in one place, all of the coupon codes that I have found. I don't have any coupon codes for these shops, but I have found a bunch off of Instagram, so I will include them. But this one, I just wanted to show you now because I got it today. And it's mainly sticky notes, which I am probably way too excited about, to be honest. So I got these journaling cards to put in my life journal, which just an update on my $10 tier on Patreon, I am going to move the letters to just like when you join that tier, a letter goes out. But then I'm going to start doing life journal with me's which is basically my life journal is just when I journal about literally anything I just feel like it tv shows movies sometimes books if it's like more of a personal thing about books or things that have happened in my life just you know whatever but I don't want to put live stuff on here because I feel like I don't know first of all those spreads could be rough we'll have to see but also, I mean, does anyone really even want to see that video? I have no idea. But on Patreon, I talked about it with a couple people and they wanted to. So basically, if you just like journal with me, that's going to be the addition. So yeah, these will be in there. I got two journaling cards that are being the beast themed. And then I got two that are Cinderella And then the rest is sticky notes that I definitely needed. So I have these, which are Mad Hatter inspired. And then I have these, which match the Cinderella note cards I got. And then these, which match the um, Beauty and the Beast ones. So yeah, that's the little, like, I guess, stationary haul um other than that i don't really have anything much to update on because i am really stressed at work i have my observation on monday and i am such a grades driven person like that's what i absolutely loved about school was the grades and i loved getting good grades and that's literally why I debate weekly at this point going back for my master's, not because I need it, not because it would actually really benefit me afterwards. It's just I, for some reason, I like to be academically stressed and in debt, I guess. Don't know. But basically an observation is now a teacher's version of a grade, so I'm just <sighs> nervous. But it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's great. Everything's grand, if you will. Right? So yeah that is what i got for updates right now wasn't much of an update i am sorry about that but hopefully i will be able to get some reading done tonight i have a reading a buddy reading facetime date with my bestie for the resty so hopefully we're gonna get some reading done and i will obviously update you guys you know what i can't update you on uh my partner and i have eaten about half of that box 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 so uh, if you're wondering if it's good, it is. We can't stop eating it. I don't know why. Um, probably because it's amazing. And I don't know. They're just such good snacks. I'm literally, they have a marketplace. And I've added the ones that we really liked already to a cart. And I'm just waiting until we try them all so I can place one big order. Because I am just obsessed with it, honestly. But yeah, I will check in with you guys later. Let's go take a shower and get some reading done and have a nice relaxing cuppa hello everybody it is thursday i just got home from work it is nice and stormy outside like it's rainy it hasn't stormed yet but i wanted to show you my gothic romance shirt i am in love with it i think it looks so good let's see if i can get like the light on it well you know what the problem is my arms are incredibly short but uh yeah i like it a lot it's from fugly barbie the same one that i've been talking about like in every video 
Oops, I just kicked my books. So, update wise, <laughs> I am about halfway through Mr. Dan Brown's book. Still loving it. It's a good time. I just, if you have any recommendations for any books that are like that, please let me know because I am just obsessed with it. I'm thinking about trying the Michael Creighton books because I feel like they have a similar vibe when I go to Half Price Bookstore, so maybe that's um, completely unfounded, but we'll find out together. And then other than that, I really don't have too much to update. I did want to say that we just found out this place, this cookie place called Crumble, spelled without the E on the end, just opened up by us, and they deliver. <laughs> Hello. So I surely did place a delivery order that will be here in an hour. And yes, I got two of each of the flavors that they have so that we can try them all because Aunt Flo just came into town, okay? I'm having a moment. I'm exhausted. And since I'm getting the shot on Friday, I know I'm not gonna wanna go out this weekend to get anything or do anything or move anything or move my body. So we're doing it tonight because yes. But I have my observation lesson plan completely scheduled. I worked with a curriculum coordinator who is like one of my stepmom's friends that I've grown up with and known since I was eight. She came and modeled the lesson for me. So if you're a teacher, a new teacher especially, but I think any teacher can benefit from this. Use your curriculum coordinator all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. And if they will model lessons for you, oh my god, do it for every lesson. Seriously, it's amazing. But um, I'm really excited for this lesson. So part of me wants to like show it to you guys, but the other part of me is like, they don't care. But I might, I might put it in this one just to see if y'all would be interested and in knowing more about it. Because here's the thing, like I love watching vloggers whose jobs are nothing like mine because I find it interesting, but I would never want to do them, you know? So yeah, I guess let me know. I think that's why I like watching mommy vloggers too. Love the concept, hate the application. So yeah. I'm gonna go see which HelloFresh we're making. We, I meet my partner, and take a shower and get ready for cookie time because, <laughs> yes please. I look as rough as I feel. Although, the redness isn't really showing very much. Like my eyes, listen y'all. So this is 
I got my vaccine on Friday and I didn't feel too bad. I mean, my arm started to hurt that night. This is my second round. It started to hurt that night, which the first round did not do that, although the first round did swell up. The most I can relate it to is like whenever I get bit by a mosquito or an ant, it swells up and it gets really hot and red. That's the exact way that my actual shot site did this time. It feels the same way. It's a little bit swollen but not really but it's really weird because it's like the swelling has moved i think it's my lymph node though why it feels like it's my entire arm area right here <sighs> but i am dedicating the day to drinking a bunch of water and pretty much just napping on and off which means audiobooks for sure um because i have my observation tomorrow and my lesson is really good like i'm really excited about it so what i'm doing is i'm gonna have a QR code on the board as the kids come in and they're gonna scan it with their iPads and then they are brought to this website called Padlet and if you're a teacher 10 out of 10 recommend because they can basically post on it like it's a form and then every class period I you can clear it off in one click and so they're gonna post on there uh, my, my question is what is not summary so like when you're making a summary of something what is it not and so they're gonna post their answers on there and then we're gonna watch this clip from I Love Lucy, which is the chocolate factory scene. And then we're going to go to this thing that we use called Nearpod, which essentially when they join, it reflects your iPad screen or laptop, but I prefer to use my iPad with it, uh, onto all of theirs. And I put it on the board. So it's like, if people can't see from the back, they can look down here. If they can see and they want to look up there, they can do that. It's it's just nice because it's convenient for everyone. Like, there's multiple places they can look. And uh, then we're going to do a 60-second summary. And the whole point of the 60-second summary is, like, if you can't write it in 60 seconds, you're probably putting too much in your summary. And then we're going to go back to what summary is not and see if they included those things. And then we are going to go on to what summary is and then we're gonna just go through some examples and stuff and it's just an intro day so it's not like too intense or anything like that but i think it's definitely gonna be fun i have not really been as like i've been teaching as normally as i feel comfortable but you know in a pandemic and a panty it, I don't really like want to get all up close to a bunch of people. Social distancing in schools, I just, I'm doing as much as I can uh, safety wise in my own classrooms, but I can only work with what I got, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I just am trying very hard, but this one is like group work as a class and then partner work, but it's not like up in each other's grills. Basically I'm using Nearpod to create like kind of a partner atmosphere without them having to be super close to each other to try to keep maintaining the CDC guidelines basically which I think it's gonna work out we did a test run with it on my honors class on Thursday with the curriculum coordinator who helps me so uh, yeah it should should be good but I'm just nervous and I am so one of those people apparently there's not many that like a lot of teachers want their observations to be in the more towards the middle of the day so that they could have had some practice on the first couple periods but not the end of the day because you know eighth period's always exhausted which I understand but I'm like no no <laughs> first period get in get it done because I will just be anxious and worried about it the entire day like I just want it I just want it over with I want it done with I don't want to think about it <laughs> I'm really hoping a um, I don't have it during a class where I have hybrid where we're supposed to teach online and in person simultaneously uh, because that would just be a mess because I am always stumbling with that because it takes a lot of time to make sure that the Google Meets is like synced up and that they're getting the exact same thing and then you know you don't know if their Wi-Fi is working or if our Wi-Fi is working. It's just... I'm just anxious because I was definitely a grade driven kid so this is basically like my new grade and I just want a hundred <laughs> but not speaking of uh, teaching things I am like I said feeling super sick so this is definitely gonna be the last clip before I go into what I've read I'm just gonna put flowers like 
specifically the pink flower for the emoji of the day because I want it to be spring and I feel sick and those emojis are pretty and might make me feel better. Logic. So I did finish the Bromance Book Club. I gave this four stars. Absolutely ended up loving this. I am very shocked at how much I enjoyed this. It is just so good. I mean, I talk about it more in the vlog I have dedicated to this and I'll talk about it more in my wrap up later, but it was just like, it was just good. Like just listen, if you like romance where it's a lot of emotional buildup and angst and then everything happens towards the end, like I would say 70% on, this is definitely one I'd recommend. That's kind of all I like in romance. So it worked out really well for me, but I definitely recommend it. I already have the second one right here and the third one may or may not be on the way to me because of, I'm apparently on a romance kick because I then picked up, spoiler alert, which this one is about a girl who posts her cosplaying, basically this is just Game of Thrones, but she posts her cosplaying one of the main characters and it goes viral and then the actor who is like in the OTP with that character she's cosplaying, he asks her out on a date because he sees the thread and it's like they're super dude bro people on there and then they like each other but then also they both are on this anonymous server, kind of like a Discord server, for the fandom and they both write fan fiction about these characters and they like he knows that but she doesn't know that if that makes sense so yeah they're also i've never read a romance where they were older he is 40 and she is 36 so i also like that because it just i was like this feels very mature <laughs> and then i realized oh <laughs> they are meant to be very mature because I thought that they were supposed to be like in their early 20s or something but I actually really like it so I might be checking out the rest of this author's romances because it's just written very well it's just really cute and I also I just love romances that include other issues that you see in life not just the romantical aspects so yeah, all in all, I'm enjoying it. I am on chapter, hello, please don't fall out. I'm on chapter 10, which is page 125. I don't know if I'm going to download the audiobook from this. I might see if Scribd has it, and then I might just listen to it because I am hurting in the membrane, but also I need to edit, so <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm doing. Um, I will hopefully pick this up tomorrow after work. Hopefully the observation went well. Y'all will know. Um, I'm probably gonna assume that it didn't because I am a perfectionist to a fault. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much to Boxu for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out my description, check out all the links down below, use the code, all that good stuff, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!